In 1970, American intelligence received reports that the Soviet government was spending 60 million 1970 rubles, which is around 8 million modern-day United States dollars, on researching none other than psychics. And in true Cold War fashion, America decided to respond with their own research into the same field, spending 260 million inflation-adjusted US dollars to try and incorporate the use of the paranormal into their military. The American Psychics program was dubbed Project Stargate and focused on investigating how they could use psychics to try and help their military. The main elements of the paranormal that they tried to harness were extrasensory perception and telepathy. Extrasensory perception refers to the ability to observe objects with the mind without using any of the bodily senses. There is little to no scientific evidence proving the truth of extrasensory perception and most of the evidence for it is anecdotal. This was exactly what both sides were operating on at that time. America took on the project simply out of a desire to not give Russia an opening to make technological headway. Due to the classified nature of all military research at that time, it was not possible to exercise good science practices such as peer reviewing or using larger sample sizes. At its peak, despite having an immense $260 million of funding, there were 22 total military and civilian personnel gathering and processing data for the project. This included researchers and so-called remote viewers, the people who are practicing extrasensory perception. It is worth noting that a decent amount of the remote viewers were members of the Cult of Scientology, which is far from the most reputable organization. Such a small sample size would hamper the effectiveness of any study, though it's very likely that this small size was a result of a lack of faith from those overseeing the program and likely those conducting it as well. The results yielded by the research were also not great. The only reason that they were able to secure funding to continue their research was that they had managed to garner interest from certain parts of the American intelligence community, such as the DOD and DARPA. This was partially due to the fact that the people carrying out the experiments had originally dressed up the success rate to over 65%. However, in 1995, the American Institute for Research conducted an investigation into the experiments and found the real success rate to be something closer to 15%. And they terminated the program for the reason that they had a lack of proper documented evidence and not providing any significant value to the intelligence community. As Russia did not declassify many of their old military documents like the US did in 2017, we don't exactly know how their research went. Some evidence suggests that there might not have even been a Russian experiment in the first place. Though, if there had been, it's safe to assume that it ended similarly to its American counterpart. But the main takeaway from the whole thing is that during times like the Cold War, Governments can become so desperate that they spend hundreds of millions of dollars on technology as fictional as psychics.